Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you my new hair experiment. Some time ago, when ordering henna for one of my previous experiments, I came across Amla. It turns out that this hair, like henna, thickens hair, nourishes it, and adds shine. However, unlike henna, it does not color the hair, and what is interesting, it enhances the hair's care. Henna has a straightening effect on hair, so people with naturally wavy or curly hair might not be satisfied with this property of henna. Personally, I was delighted with how henna worked on my hair. The volume of my hair seems twice as large, and my hair was shiny, smooth, and healthy. For a long time now, I've had my natural hair color slightly lightened with hydrogen peroxide. I've been using hydrogen peroxide for almost two years, and although I haven't noticed any damage, I wanted to find a natural method that like henna will thicken and nourish my hair without affecting its color. To prepare an amla mask, you only need to add a bit of warm water to achieve a yogurt-like consistency. I used about 25 grams of powder. Amla has a delicious sweet and sour fruity scent, which reminds me of the smell of dried goji berries. I let the amla sit for about 30 minutes. The first time I decided to apply the mixture to dry hair, which I had washed the previous day without using a conditioner. I apply the amla all over my hair from the scalp to the ends. The mask has a sandy texture and is difficult to distribute through the hair. I also try to massage the alma into my scalp. The herb has moisturizing properties for the skin, helps with scalp problems, reduces hair loss and promotes hair growth. Then I secure my hair with plastic wrap and a towel. It's best to use an old or dark colored towel, although there was no problem washing the alma out even from a light colored towel or clothes. I left the alma on my hair for about 40 minutes, and after that time I rinse it out with warm water. This time I didn't use conditioner to see how my hair would look like after using amla. Despite its sandy texture, amla rinses out very easily and doesn't leave any particles on the hair or scalp, unlike when rinsing out henna. Here is how my hair looks, still not completely dry. All I did was gently scrunch the hair and that was enough to keep the waves in my hair. After drying, my hair is smooth and shiny. Even though I didn't use conditioner, it isn't dry. It seems properly moisture. The volume of my hair has definitely increased and it's also lifted at the roots. During the next application of Amla, I decided to do a little spa for my hair. First, I apply a mixture of oils and essential oils to my scalp. I used castor oil, argan oil, jojoba oil mixed with rosemary and lavender essential oils. The oils moisturize the scalp and hair, and the essential oils stimulate hair growth. I also apply a few drops on the entire length of my hair. I tie my hair up and leave it like this for an hour. Then I wash my hair with shampoo twice, as usual, but I don't apply conditioner. Normally, I don't wash the ends of my hair to avoid drying them out, but this time I want to wash off the oils I applied earlier. This 
this time I also want to apply Amla to damp hair, hoping it will make the application easier. I also prepared a more liquid mixture than the previous time. I apply the Amla as before and leave it on my hair for about 40 minutes. Then I rinse the mask out with warm water and apply conditioner to the ends. I towel dry my hair first and then let it air dry. This time, my hair also has nice waves, it's moisture, soft, shiny and fluffy. After using Amla, my hair also seems brighter and lighter. I've noticed more highlights and the ends are definitely lighter than before using Amla. My hair isn't naturally straight. It tends to wave or even curl on some strands, but I've never paid much attention to it and haven't used methods for curly hair. I also don't have experience with curly hair. However, with Amla and minimal effort, I can achieve nice waves without using styling products. Making a haircut with more layers would help with the curve, but even without that, the effect is satisfying enough for me. Amla has definitely surprised me positively. I've used it three times so far and I will definitely include Amla into my regular haircut routine. Let me know in the comments if you used Amla on your hair and what your opinions are. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!